were on the panel dealing with water and other sub subjects, water use, uh, and also having a clean water supply for the state. Um, this is going to be a big issue in, it, in the 2015 session. Yeah, that's, uh, that's no secret. The speaker, uh, as, as long ago as about uh, seven or eight months, said this was uh, a big priority of his personally, uh, that we uh, look at water holistically, uh, talk about uh, really from a statewide perspective, what are the things we need to be doing in water policy. Obviously the uh, Everglades gets lots of attention, and that's the part of the, the, the state I'm in, but uh, there's a lot of other issues out there. Springs, Apalachicola, uh, here in Central Florida where we're meeting, uh, has, a, has a water initiative to address their long-term supply needs. I know that uh, the, the president uh, has said that he would like to see tourism driven by people coming to clean springs mm -hmm. and uh, there are areas where there needs to be work to manage uh, the land and so forth to have clean springs in the state of Florida again. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, one of the challenges we have is uh, what to do with these springs that we've loved to death. Uh, you know, in the last uh, couple of decades, uh, the state has acquired a lot of the far northern springs, the ones up uh, closer to Tallahassee and in the Panhandle. Uh, so we've got those permanently in conservation and they're, they're beauties that we can visit and treasure. But uh, some of the ones closer to the center of the state, we've, we've loved them to death. Uh, we've built our houses up against them. Uh, we've, we spend a lot of time in them. and. Uh, uh, sometimes that doesn't translate into great health of those springs, and so uh, we, we need to, to have a game plan for how we're going to get those back uh, where, where folks want them to be.